evening and welcome to Cooking Without Michael, he's stuck at work late, but with Candace and Alex. Tonight we are making edible raw cookie dough. For those of us who are of a certain <coughs> X generation and older, you may remember back when you could still eat cookie dough raw because you could trust the food supply. Well, those days are gone now. So we have to alter some of our favorite cookie dough recipes in order to be able to safely eat them raw so we don't get salmonella. All right, so before we go any further, we need to thank Andrew from Chapel Beer and Wine. If you're looking for beer, wine, hard seltzer, or a lotto tickets, go to Chapel Beer and Wine in the Fox Chapel Shopping Center in Germantown, Maryland. Ask for Andrew, tell them Michael or Candace sent you. He'll take good care of you, as always. Do you want to introduce the, uh, the ingredients, or should I? One cup of heat-treated flour, we will get to that later. Three quarters of a cup of packed ground sugar. One stick of butter. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla. One teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of milk. And some chocolate chips. A lot of chocolate chips, at least a half a cup. At least half a cup. All right, so I said the heat treated flour and you're thinking, what the heck is that? Where am I supposed to buy that? You just get regular flour from the store, put a cup of it in a bowl, put this in your microwave for one minute and 15 seconds. Do not walk away. You're going to stir it every 15 seconds so that it doesn't clump up and so that it heats evenly. That will kill off all of your germs. You do have to worry about the germs from eating raw flour as well. That's a thing, so let's be careful about that too. All right, so let's get started. First, we're gonna take our stand mixer and open it up. They're heavy as heck. If you don't have a stand mixer, that's perfectly fine. You can use one of the little handheld mixers or you can even use a fork. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our butter, the whole stick. We take off the wrapping. Well, of course we take off the wrapping. We dump the whole stick in. Ew, he doesn't want to get butter fingers. I do not like butter. I like almost every single person in the world. He, he's an anti-butterite. Dump the whole stick in there. Then, because your hands are buttery, you grab a cloth. You wipe them off. It's that easy. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our brown sugar. Dump the whole thing in there. Dump the whole thing in there. Close up your stand mixer. You're going to start it off on low, just like you do for everything else, because you don't want stuff to fly out of it. Yeah, you don't want stuff to fly out of it. So what you're doing here is you're... What it's doing right now is around the world. Yes, and the purpose of around the world is to mix your butter and your brown sugar together fully. Now we're mixed, so we're going to put in our this. vanilla extract. Ours is imitation because we are not made of gold. Next, we add our two tablespoons of milk that I pre-measured. Don't ask me why I only pre-measured the milk and not the vanilla. And then salt. Now we mix again. It smells very good. Scrape down the sides of the bowl and the paddle. All right, I think we're ready for dumping in some flour. And now dump the We're going to put in about a third of it at Ow. a time. You don't put all of it in at once because then it makes it more difficult for your mixer to get it evenly. Yes. And it and actually put it, ends, and now put it down? Yeah. And it ends up taking longer if you dump the whole thing in at once. Around the world, around the world. I think we should rename this cookie dough to Around the World Cookie Dough. Yes. I think it's mixed enough. Let's turn it off. Now we are going to put all of our chocolate chips in. Put it on low so you don't break up your chips too much. What? Good. And that's it. No baking, no salmonella, no trips to the ER, none of that's required. Now we can dig in to our salmonella-free raw cookie dough. Super good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No salmonella. You can also mix this into vanilla ice cream as well. Also super awesome. That way it tastes like the ice cream raw cookie dough. So thank you for watching. I hope you make it at home and enjoy it. And uh, stay safe while enjoying your raw cookie dough. And then um, it is extremely good. Enjoy your trip around the world. Around the world. If you haven't already, please do click subscribe. Please click like. Please also share. Share with your friends. Share with your family. Share with your coworkers, your neighbors, people you like, people you hate. Just share. And we will see you again next Saturday night at 8 o'clock. Good night. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ready? Ten seconds. 
seconds. You ready? Ten. Nine. One thousand. One eight, thousand. Seven. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Oh, by the way, from now on, I'm 